girls, the boys, superstar DJs. Here, Here we, we go. go! Hi, my name is Matt. Welcome back to the shop. And today we're talking about the solution for the emissions issue for two strokes. Don't fucking move, dickhead. Jesus. Can't get the pens to fucking cooperate. Right, so here we have a very, very simple, basic um, crankcase breathing or respirating or aspirating, whatever way you want to say, gargling, uh, two-stroke engine, you know, generally fitted to most of your motocross bikes and all the rest of it. And people say, or I've said loads of times that the main issue with emissions and stuff and all the rest of it is not the so much the petrol going out of... Uh, into the exhaust and been reflected back in and all the rest of it. It's more to do with the actual oil itself. That's what you can smell, that's what gives the, the smoke that lovely blue tinge to it, and it is lovely. You know, and you know, that's the main reasons for these emissions failing. And this is why two strokes are generally disappearing. This is why most of the Jan Japanese manufacturers who have made some of the best two strokes around have said, ah, fuck it, let's just go a four stroke. So, the comment that I keep on getting an awful lot is why don't you just make this like a two-stroke diesel? Why don't you just use a supercharger and, you know, have it uh, basically get rid of the crankcase breathing side of it? Right, so, there's a good reason, and the reason is, is weight and cost. Superchargers are not cheap. Not only that is, they are not light. Not only that is, they also take out energy from the actual engine. So, if we just say this is a, I don't know, 20 horsepower engine. Right, this is quite a small two-stroke, you know, maybe a, a 150 or something like that. And, you know, you want to use your supercharger, which means you're going to take off um, 20%. So now we're down to, I can't do maths anymore, 16 horsepower. But it's not just that, it's the weight. Now, if this entire engine weighs, I don't know, uh, 30 kilograms, you know what I mean? Your supercharger is going to weigh 10 of that, so now we weigh 40. We now weigh 40 kilograms, which means that you've got to divide this over that. So when we look at these numbers, we've got our weights, we've got our horsepowers. So if we look at uh, 20 horsepower divided by 30... What's that? That's 0.6. It's two thirds. Um, two thirds. Idiot. I don't know why I tried to do the maths. It's written down there for me. And uh, yeah, you know, you're. you're um, oh, fucking idiot. What am I doing? 16. 16 divided by 40 kilograms. Uh, 0.4. Right. So you can see that our power factor has dropped by 30%. Right. It's a third. We've just lost 30% of our power by adding this versus this. And then comes the big problem is that, right, so we've our power factor's fallen by 30% or a third, which means that this engine now has to produce a third more power to make this whole thing viable. So in essence, you know, um, a third of 16, bloody phone. <laughs> So, um, you know, we, we've, we've dropped a third, so basically this engine has to increase its power by a third with this supercharger fitted to make the whole thing worth it. And a third of 16 horsepower is uh, 5 point something. So basically we have to base, you know, we have to make 21 horsepower, which, you know, is quite possible um, to make for an engine this small and all the rest of it to make a third of the horsepower. However, we are still heavier, so your bike is heavier, and the fucking cost, the cost of the supercharger will literally be 50% of this, if not more. Uh, you know, they are quite well machined, um, you know, they are quite, mel uh, qu <laughs> they really, it's quite a precision uh, process is manufacturing superchargers to go at such high speeds and all the rest of it. The other thing is then is you start to get weird things with leaning in and leaning out with your carbs and so on and so on and so on. This is just to get over the emissions. So, you know, and there's nothing that scares the shit out of uh, a motorcycle manufacturer than, huh, we're going to have to double your cost. 
You know what I mean? Nothing scares the shit out of them more than that. You know, or go four stroke. Well, it's quite a simple um, solution because nine times out of ten, these manufacturers build four strokes, and basically what you're saying to them is just stop making, stop, don't make the two strokes anymore. And most of them go, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just stop making them. So that's one of the main reasons why just adding a supercharger to this entire system isn't the solution because you might make a tire a bit more power you might break even but it is heavier full stop there's nothing you can do about that you have to make more power to overcome the the, the extra weight that you've added but then there's the complexity there's the cost and this is all just to stop burning oil which a four stroke does you know a lot better than a two stroke just say the um you know, you can try and, get, and the other thing is as well as you, the other way you can do it is the way that KTM and other companies are trying to do it is starting to use exotic materials, which again costs more. This is why the guys at Yamaha, Suzuki, Kawasaki, and all the rest of them just went, ah, oh, do you know what? Fuck that. We can, we can do that, or we can just use that same money and that same technology and that same time, you know, the man hours and all the rest of it, to make our four strokes better. Which are we going to do? You know, are you going to invest this lottery win that you've just won on redoing, you know, your old knackered house, or are you just going to go and buy a new one? You know, or sentimentally, you might want to rebuild your old knackered house that's got subsidence and it's sinking into the ground, or you could just go out and buy a new one. You know, and that's what the Yamaha and all the rest of it does. You know, people seem to think I I hate two strokes, and I don't. Oh, yeah, I do know why. Um, you know, that was kind of just highlighting and fun and blah, blah, blah. And I did, uh, uh, I hate four strokes and all the rest of it, and wankles are shite and blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, I was brought up with two strokes around me all the time. You know, a lot of the bikes we used to fuck around on as a load of lads were two strokes. They're great fun. Um, but from an engineering point of view, from a production point of view, from a marketing point of view, from all these other point of views apart from the customer, two strokes are a dying thing. You know, two strokes are like um, an ex-girlfriend. You know what I mean? Um, you know, you might reminisce about fucking rolling around with her in the fucking woods or something like that, but at the end of the day, she is your ex-girlfriend. You're reminiscing so not just about her, but the fact that you were young back then and the way things used to be. You know what I mean? It's it's as simple as you know it's it's um sentimental you know we get very sentimental and people do get very defensive you see on the comments fuck me you know what i mean people go oh i've got to protect my two stroke it's like fucking hell chill out it's an engine at the end of the day it doesn't really matter you know god if you think you've got problems with the fucking dying of two strokes you went to this electric motor thing starts rearing its ugly head you know, they're awesomely powerful and all the rest, especially torque wise. But my god, it's fucking silent. It sounds like a fucking dildo. It, it, vibrator, not dildo. You know what I mean? It's just oh, plugging it in. It's almost disgusting. You know, it makes my fucking balls just want to suck inside and disappear. It, it, you mean no vibration, smoke, and noise, and fucking. Oh, you know, the, 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 the electric thing scares the shit out of me. I'm just lucky that I'm born now so that I will be dead before the last fucking engine is ever produced, probably. You know, thank God for that. Anyway, road, that's the reason why you can't... That was a bit of a rant there. That's the reason why it's not just as simple as adding a supercharger, you know, and someone is going to fucking put a comment saying, what about turbos? Turbos need the engine to be running before the turbo works. You cannot have one without the other. Yes, you could possibly one day use an electric motor to pre-charge it, but then that's even more complexity, more weight, more cost. And for small two-strokes, all the way up to about 500cc, no one is going to fucking bother. It's as simple as that. You're just going to have to face it. You're going to have to all stop crying about it and just face reality. Just like Motoman does. <laughs> well, that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.